Thousands of Venezuelans answered the call to hold a midday protest carrying signs that read, we all have reasons. They're demanding that President Nicolás Maduro resign, a transition government, and new elections. We cannot stand it anymore. Venezuela can't stand it anymore. To have gone from being a rich country to one where people are starving and are fleeing like rats. Opposition leaders say 5,000 similar protests took place simultaneously nationwide. These gentlemen came from Petare, which is Venezuela's largest slum, to take part in the demonstration with their own reason. And the reason is in their hand. It's this money. They say it's absolutely worthless. This is a week's salary, but I'm told they can only buy a half a carton of eggs with it. One week ago, the opposition-controlled National Assembly proclaimed Deputy Juan Guaidó Venezuela's interim president in close consultation with the Trump administration. Since then, the U.S. and most of Latin America have joined forces to try to push Maduro out. Wednesday, Guaidó's appointed charge d'affaires in Washington met with U.S. officials to iron out details of confiscating Venezuelan oil and gold assets to cut off all income to the Maduro government. But at a military base, the embattled president's response was that he won't cave in to pressure, ultimatums, or blackmail. I have said in the face of these circumstances, of imperialist threats, of acting like buffoons, we need nerves of steel, calm and sanity, and to mobilize your conscience with much military mobilization. Maduro repeated he's willing to dialogue with Juan Guaidó, but says the opposition's non-negotiable demand, early elections, is out of the question. No queremos. This as Mexico and Uruguay attempt to put together a coalition of neutral countries and organizations, including the UN, to attempt a negotiated settlement to the crisis. But it's an option that the opposition seems unwilling to entertain, as they, with the help of the United States, push to precipitate Maduro's downfall. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.